A US government agency says that there is enough natural hydrogen easily accessible underground in the United States to meet demand for hundreds of years. So is this some kind of revolutionary breakthrough? Could this change the future in America? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. I want to say a big thank you, big shout out to our Patreon supporters. Really probably couldn't do this without you guys. It makes a big, huge impact on being able to continue to do, you know, seven, eight, nine videos daily to kind of bring you guys as much information about what's going on in the EV and renewable energy sector on a daily basis. So thank you guys. Geologists say there's going to be a gold rush for natural hydrogen resources. They say there's enough natural hydrogen underground to meet all demand for hundreds of years. And this is actually coming from a US government agency. There are trillions of tons of naturally occurring hydrogen in underground reservoirs, a tiny percentage of which would meet all the world's hydrogen needs for hundreds of years, geologists said last week. They say that a gold rush will exploit these reserves and it's about to start. An unpublished report from the US Geological Survey, an agency of the US government, has found that there are as much as an insane amount, 5 trillion tons of natural hydrogen underground. US GS researcher Jeffrey Ellis told a US conference last week. And just a fraction of that would be enough to meet global hydrogen demand for many, many decades, probably for centuries. Most hydrogen is likely inaccessible, but only a few percent recovery would still supply all projected demand, 500 million tons a year for hundreds of years, said the researchers during a USGC report at the conference. The Hydrogen Council estimates that global hydrogen demand will reach 375 million tons per year by 2050, a lot more than what is being used today. This means that investment is likely to begin flowing into natural hydrogen production imminently, said Mingli Zhang, research assistant professor at the Colorado School of Mines, when they were speaking to an audience only a couple of months ago. A gold rush for hydrogen is coming, she said, adding that exploiting natural hydrogen, sometimes known as gold or white hydrogen, would be cleaner and cheaper than making hydrogen via steam methane reforming or electrolysis, whether that's using renewable energy or not. The news comes as the United States government allocated the first tranche of a $20 million subsidy program for technologies to measure and produce natural hydrogen. Until a few years ago, the scientific consensus was that naturally occurring hydrogen underground would be destroyed by microbes or chemical processes close to the Earth's surface. So people thought that this wasn't really a thing. It wasn't possible for us to get all this natural hydrogen, trillions of tons that is just sitting there. But Alexis Templeton of the University of Colorado told the conference that geologists now believe subterranean hydrogen is generated in enormous quantities when iron-rich minerals react with water. We haven't looked for hydrogen resources in the right places with the right tools, experts said. Several exploration companies are already actively searching for hydrogen resources with the aim of commercializing them. Australia's gold hydrogen reported in November that it had found elevated levels of H2 in its South Australian well. While Bill Gates backed US explorer, Coloma has been searching in the US Midwest. Earlier this year, researchers found a spring of pure natural hydrogen in Albania, producing up to 200 tons per year. So this spring apparently just continues to pump out natural hydrogen. It is yet to be proven though, that natural hydrogen can be commercially exploited at scale, partly due to the fact that it always seems to be mixed with other gases, such as methane, from which it will need to be separated, and partly due to the size of the reserves discovered to date that could be, well, possibly a challenge. You know, extracting it's one thing, but then having to separate it as well may make it not so commercially viable. The only current use of natural hydrogen anywhere in the world is in a village in Mali in West Africa where it is burned, unseparated from other gases, to generate electricity. Now, this report is its kind of an interesting one, but it does come from a website called hydrogeninsight.com. And while it's accurate, and I think they're lying here, there, it is true that there is trillions of tons of hydrogen underneath the, the crust surface in the United States. Whether or not that can be removed and whether or not it actually makes commercial sense to remove it is an entirely different story. Could this happen? It could. Is it likely in my opinion? Not really. 
What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.